Oh, shh. No, 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 no. It, it, it's okay. I just didn't hear you coming. Uh, uh, hey, what's up? Oh, wow. You made me tea? Uh, here, let me scoot over and you can sit next to me. There you go. <clears throat> Thanks for making me this. That's good. Hmm? Oh, me? I'm fine. Oh, shit, I'm saying it automatically again, aren't I? My brain is all fucked up right now. No, I'm... I'm not fine. But thank you for asking. <laughs> My bag. Yeah, I, I guess I packed kind of light. I only grab the important stuff like my meds, phone charger, and, you know, enough clothes to make it through the next two weeks. The rest I can replace down the road. Hmm, not likely. Knowing him, he won't give me any of my stuff without some long, drawn-out fight. None of it matters anyway. I've learned to, you know, not be attached to anything if it'll eventually be used against me. You know, leaving him behind is a lot harder than I imagined it would be. I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with him, you know? I never imagined that I'd... Well, run away. <laughs> no, he has no idea I'm here. He's expecting me to be at home when he gets back from the gym, but I won't be there. I'm not going back to that apartment or anywhere near him. Hey, I know I've said it a thousand times, but I really can't thank you enough for letting me crash on your couch. I didn't have anywhere else to go, and it, it'll only be until I can get a new place, and I'll contribute to the utilities and help with any chores in the meantime, okay? Well, I appreciate that. But your hospitality means the world to me, so I don't want to take advantage, you know? Thanks. I'll let you know if there's anything I need. Actually, there is one thing. I... I hate to do this to you, but... I don't think I can do this next part on my own. Well, I was going to end it with him last night, but I... I couldn't. But now that I'm away from him, I was thinking I should call him up and... Yep. Just rip the band-aid off and be done with it forever. Thing is, they know exactly what to say to get in my head and make me lose my resolve, so... I was wondering if you could sit with me? I'm not asking you to be my defender or put you in the crossfire. That would put you at risk. All I'm asking is... Well, for you to sit and bear this burden with me while I make the call. I know, it's, it's a lot to ask, but... You're the only support system I have left. You'll hold my hand through it? God, you're the best. I don't know how I'll ever repay you for helping with this, but... I owe you. I don't know, something good? <laughs> wow. You set the bar pretty low. I'll tell you what, if... If I survive this call, I'll get you a dozen pizzas. What do you say? <laughs> it's a deal, then. I don't know. I don't think that anyone could ever really be ready for something like this, but... Sometimes you can't wait and you gotta... Cut the cord. Right. 
<sighs> All right, let's uh, get this over with. Just pull up their number. Hmm, no answer. Maybe he left his phone in the locker room? Mm. So much for that. Should I call back later, or...? Like a voice message? I mean... The alternative is waiting around for him to call back so he can scream at me or drag it out for five hours. No, no, I'll go with your idea. One more time. Okay, it's ready to record. Just keep holding my hand and don't say a word, okay? Here I go. Hey, it's me. Listen, there's something I need to tell you. I was going to do this last night, but I didn't want to put either of us in a situation where things might escalate. I guess there's no easy way to say this, is there? You and I are done. It's over, and I'm not coming back. I've already asked our landlord to drop the paperwork to break the lease, and I'll be making arrangements for someone to come pick up the rest of my belongings. I know what you're thinking right now. That I'm a coward for not breaking up with you face to face. And I don't care. I don't expect you to understand, but I sure as hell don't have to sit and wait for you to come around. I, I'm not going to put myself in a position where you refuse to accept my choices or try to change my mind. All I... All I want is for you to respect my space and privacy while I figure out how to move forward. <laughs> it's so surreal now that I say it out loud, asking you to respect me. You are never capable of giving me anything, only taking what you could to satisfy your needs, your vanity, your I'm not sure if you're still listening at this point. You might think that I'm selfish for venting my frustrations without giving you a chance to respond, but... Maybe now you'll understand what it's like to be in my shoes. What I've had to deal with throughout our entire relationship. You may not have realized this, or worse, maybe you have, but I haven't been happy. No, that's not the right word. Safe. I haven't been safe in a long time. But hopefully, starting today, I can start the journey to rediscover what that's like for me. And the first step in that direction is removing myself from the environment and the people, or rather, person, responsible for making me feel this way. For a long time, I convinced myself that things weren't that bad between us. I thought, hey, I love this guy. He just needs a little time to get out of the funkies in, and then I'll be back to the sweet, charming, sexy man that I knew when I first fell for him. But now I see that you are never that man. And the person that you are is someone that I can no longer be with, no matter how much history there is between us. It'll take some time to adjust where I won't have to walk around on eggshells and second-guess my decisions all the time, but I'll manage. Maybe it's because I don't have to worry whether or not something I might say or do will set you off. Regardless, I'm looking forward to living without the crippling chest pains that were brought on due to the stress of our relationship. <laughs> then again... You never seem to care about what caused my anxiety attacks. 
I can already imagine the indignant look on your face and your lips curling into a snarl as you tell me to stop being a little bitch and to man up. That was always your response to my pain, wasn't it? You couldn't be bothered to do the one decent thing that a partner should do when their boyfriend is in distress. Instead of you validating my feelings and comforting me, you laughed. You laughed at it. You called me weak. You have no idea how badly that fucked me up. Your blatant disregard for my well-being made me realize that the worse I felt, the angrier you became. I couldn't even fucking express myself without you gaslighting me into thinking that I was ungrateful or selfish for behaving in any way that displeased you. And so, I taught myself to wear a smile and perform like some wind-up doll because I knew what the alternative was was and it was worse like I was replaced by some machine whose sole function was catering to your every mood and desire I, I, I don't even feel like a person anymore <laughs> but I guess that's how you liked me wasn't it trained like a good dog to be grateful to lick up the scraps of whatever you felt like tossing to me that day that was my biggest mistake. Believing that worshipping the ground you walked upon was normal and healthy when it was anything but. Not that you'd ever tell me that. <laughs> I used to think it was so romantic when you said that you needed me to be with you. That my unconditional love and countless sacrifices for you would not only fix all our problems, but that we would make each other whole. I was... I was too ignorant then to realize it, but giving you that kind of power over me meant losing myself in the process. Hmm. But I lost more than that, didn't I? When I still had them, my friends were looking out for me. They must have seen right through you because you called them haters for not agreeing with our relationship. God, I, I burned every bridge in my life because of your damn insecurities and I'll never forgive myself for it. Did you even care how lonely I was or did you only care how tightly I was wrapped around your finger? But even with all of my undivided attention and devotion, you weren't satisfied until you were controlling every aspect of my life. You assumed that because you were my boyfriend, that it not only gave you a right to my privacy, but to things like my bank account or my, my phone without any clues to how that would affect me. I was going insane. Like, like, I wasn't even allowed to be safe in my own head. Did you realize how violated that made me feel? I don't know why I'm asking you these questions. It's not like you'd ever answer me honestly without deflecting or immediately putting it back on me. It's just who you are. I did everything that I could to love you. You want to know the crazy part? I was willing to go further. To give you more. To be bled completely dry if it meant this relationship would work. But then you... You took it too far. Looking back, I should have seen it coming. I was in denial because the squeeze here and a shove there wasn't considered that bad yet. I told myself that you would never cross that line. But I was wrong. All it took was one bad night for me to see what you were truly capable of. After finally breaking down and crumpling under the weight of everything... 
you showed your true colors. I would have died for an ounce of compassion, a hug, hell, any kind of assurance that you still gave a shit about me, but you didn't. You couldn't. There are some days when I can still taste blood. I feel your fingers pulling at my hair. What I can't seem to forget is the screaming. Same phrase over and over. That if I didn't rile you up and upset you, that you wouldn't have had to hit me. I'll never understand how a person can say they love someone and then just justify hitting them in the face. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? You had no right to put your hands on me like that. And after today, you will never get another chance to. <laughs> but, in some fucked up way, I'm grateful for it. Because I was finally able to see that your twisted version of love is warped and wrong. Real love doesn't control or punish or belittle. It doesn't withdraw affection or use sex as a weapon or throw punches because something doesn't go their way. Love protects and cherishes listens and provides a safe place for others to flourish and thrive. I loved you. But you couldn't give me the same consideration without making me feel that I had to earn it. You made me feel that I was never enough to earn your love. And I see the truth now. I don't have to prove or earn anything from you or anyone else because I am enough. I deserve love and support and affection. I deserve to be myself and live my life without being monitored. To spend time with my loved ones without being threatened with the silent treatment. I, I deserve to feel safe in my own fucking home without fear of being yelled at or hit in the face. <laughs> at least now I can rest assured that it's never going to happen again because I'm never going to give you the opportunity. What we had between us was nothing but a poison, and I refuse to keep drinking it just to sate your narcissism. This is going to be the last you ever hear from me. Don't contact me. Don't try to find me. I need to pick up the pieces of my life without your interference. I, I don't know how long it'll take for me to put it all back together again. What I know for sure is that I would rather be homeless and alone than be trapped in that fucking apartment with you for one more night. I've said all I need to say. Good riddance. And goodbye. <sighs> okay, it's sent. I'm going to do that now. Let me just lock the number and done. Holy fuck. I actually did it. Oh my God, is it really over? Then why do I feel so jittery, energetic, like I need to go for a run or something. An adrenaline rush? No. That's weird. Why would I have an... Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Yeah, you're right. I did it. I stood up to him. My life is finally mine again. I, I, I can be me again. Why? A hug? Um, yes, please. Jesus, please. <laughs> really? <laughs> if you say so. I, I, <laughs> I couldn't have done this without you. If you weren't here supporting me... <laughs> brave, huh? I haven't exactly seen myself as brave in a long time, but... Yeah, maybe one day I'll believe it. What now? Well, when I can pull myself together and stop crying, I was thinking that we could order a dozen pizzas or something. <laughs> sure, we can order some beers too. Uh, I think we both need it. Um, in a little bit. I mean... It's been so long since I could just rest and breathe that I don't want it to be over so soon. I'd like to stay here like this for just a little bit longer, if that's okay. Thank you so much. <sighs> I'd forgotten what this felt like. Being safe. feel good. No, really, I feel so much lighter. Like I'm finally making my way back after being lost. It's so... liberating? I I've won! <sighs> You're right. The battle's over, but the war has begun. Damn, I've got a long road ahead of me, don't I? Oh, I... I mean, I don't expect you to stick with me for all of it. Just you being here for this part has been more than enough... <laughs> if you're sure, then... Yes. Please, stay with me. I think I'm going to need all the help that I can get. <laughs> At least now I can rest knowing that I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> God, it's been forever since I heard anyone call me that. Yes. Your bestie, Cardlin, is finally coming home. <sighs> For good. <laughs>